My name is Dr. Martin Unsworth. I'm a professor of Earth and Atmospheric Science and Physics at the University of Alberta. The research we're doing under the Helmholtz Alberta Initiative is to investigate whether we can find alternative sources of heat for oil sands processing. So currently that heat's provided by burning vast amounts of natural gas. In fact, 6% of Canada's natural gas is burned at Fort McMurray simply to heat water up to process oil sand, to separate the sand and the tar so that you can actually make synthetic crude oil. And what we're trying to do is to see if geothermal energy, which is an alternative or renewable energy, is actually an alternative for doing that. Geothermal energy is simply a way of extracting heat energy from the Earth. That heat's there because of the heat when the Earth was formed four half billion years ago. A lot of it also comes from radioactive elements deep in the Earth. So that heat is naturally being lost from the Earth. And geothermal energy seeks to take that and use that to make electricity or to just directly heat anything from greenhouses to houses to industrial processes. The number of places in the world where geothermal will work naturally are really limited. You have to have essentially volcanoes with natural hot water supplies. But the vast majority of North America, you have the hot rock, but you just don't have the water to bring it to the surface. So the program in Fort McMurray in the oil sands area that we're envisaging is you would have to drill wells and fracture the rock artificially. And then you would have to pump water through those fractures to be heated up. So this is called engineered or enhanced geothermal or EGS for short. And these EGS plants are being investigated in a number of countries worldwide. There are some test plants in Germany and Australia and France would be some of the leading examples. And it has the potential to really provide a lot of energy. We have here a lot of the strength in geothermal exploration, which is in large side mirrored by the German side at the Geoforschung Centrum. But they have the expertise in actually, if this comes to developing a pilot plant, to actually see if this is going to be favorable and actually economic, they have the strength in that. So the two sides have complementary strengths outside here in obviously having a, a lot of experience with the local geology and the conditions in Alberta. And the German side have experience of developing these plants and running them. One of the emphases that we're trying to push with the Helmholtz Alberta Initiative is that we have an exchange of graduate students. So students come and they're trained here in Canada, but they also spend some time in Germany seeing a different way of doing things and vice versa. The German students have already been working with us here in Alberta. You know, I think it's becoming clear in the last decade what we do as as a human species is having an impact on global climate. You know, people may disagree the magnitude or exactly the mechanisms by which that is happening. But I think a need to have energy sources which are really not having the large negative impact that burning fossil fuels do are, are required. People have estimated if you could extract all the heat that's in the rocks below North America, that would more than provide all the electricity we could possibly need. So if this is a program which pushes that forward, and produces you know, engineered geothermal as, a, as an energy source that can be relied upon, that would be a huge contribution in terms of global development.